Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick guide on how to set up your sound masking system. So if you purchase a system from us, it's gonna come with an amplifier. Could be this one, could be a different model. Um, it's gonna come with speakers. This C3 is our in ceiling speaker, very popular for sound masking applications and office environments, um, clinics, things like that. Um, and then it's going to come with a sound masking card, which is um, the generator that you're going to insert into the amp that's going to have the sound masking technology on it. So we're going to go into details about how to set this up once you get your equipment. So let's start off by just addressing sound masking. What is a sound masking system and why is it useful? So sound masking increases the ambient noise in a space. So if you're in an office environment, maybe it's an open bullpen area, or maybe you have offices that have important individuals who occupy that space and you're trying to protect conversations that are occurring in those areas, uh, sound masking may be a good idea. Um, sound masking can also just add a good atmosphere if it's just eerie quiet, if you can hear a pin drop or every time somebody you know, scoots out their chair, you can hear every single movement. Um, all of those things create distractions and when you're distracted in the workplace, it's never a good thing. So sound masking may be a great addition to your space. One silly example that I like to give to explain sound masking is a scenario that happens all the time in my household uh, when me and my wife are in the living room watching TV. Um, oftentimes I'll get up, maybe washing up off a plate and I have the kitchen sink turned on. At that point, if my wife is talking to me, it becomes very difficult to hear what she's saying or understand what she's saying. I may not even know she's talking at all. I'm sure you've all been in that situation where you have the water running or maybe you're doing laundry and someone's trying to talk to you and you have no idea what's being said. So in the same way, that's how sound masking works. Once I turn that water off, I can hear her again. She's like, hey, I was talking to you. Well, I had the water running. I couldn't hear what you were saying. So in the same way, that's a, a silly example of what sound masking does. So our sound masking systems um, will look similar to this, similar setup, amplifier. You're gonna have more than one speaker likely. For demo purposes today, we're not gonna be talking about how to connect your wires. Um, we've already done a video on this and we're gonna tag it so that you can go back and look at this if you need installation help. I'm really just gonna show you um, the basics of the sound masking system, how to adjust it for your space um, so that it's comfortable for everyone and it does exactly what you're looking for it to do. I already have my speaker connected um, with the speaker wire to the back of the amplifier. Your sound masking system is gonna come with this sound masking generator. It looks like a little credit card. It's gonna come in this nice little plastic case. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is get your system wired up. You're gonna to wanna to power this system on. You're gonna see lights come on, notifying that there's power. Once you have all your speakers where they're supposed to be, this is gonna be the next step. So it's gonna come with this sound masking card. Um, you're like, how in the world, where, where does that go on the amplifier? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, this right here flips up into a USB and it inserts into the front right here and it dangles just as so. So you're gonna know that you have inserted that card correctly because this media player is gonna start counting. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in this video, but it's gonna be counting, which is basically a timer saying how long that it's been playing. So if you see that timer, you've inserted your card correctly. Um, and the awesome thing about our amplifiers is as soon as you insert this USB, it's gonna take priority. So if you had Bluetooth, uh, had the Bluetooth working and you had a device connected, you had music playing, maybe you had the FM tuner, it doesn't matter. As soon as you insert that, it's gonna take priority over this unit and it's gonna automatically start playing. So you don't have to press any buttons, get to a certain setting, it's gonna be automatic for you. Now, um, the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is get everything adjusted volume wise. So the media player itself has volume on it. Much like um, maybe you have a home uh, Bluetooth speaker and I have my phone connected to the speaker, there's volume control on that speaker itself, but I can also take my phone and go up and down with the volume. So in the same way, that media player has its own volume. Now, the highest volume is 32. Uh, we recommend to have it set at about 16, uh, you know, about halfway, three quarters. It's gonna really just depend on, on your setting, but I wouldn't, you know, turn that all the way up because you're gonna have to adjust the master volume as well. So, we don't have anything playing right now because the master's turned all the way down. 
Um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn up the master just a little bit so you can hear um, what this sounds like. So that's turned up pretty loud. I just wanted to turn it up so you'd be able to hear it. Um, make sure that you've adjusted that media player volume about halfway or three quarters. And then you're gonna have to play with this volume as well. Uh, the trick with sound masking is a little bit goes a long way. You're not trying to blast this into your space. Um, it's really just to increase the ambient noise just slightly. Um, so you don't want to turn it up. You don't want it to be whirling in there whenever you walk into the setting. You want it to just be very comfortable for everyone. Um, and a lot of times, over time, you may not even realize that sound masking is going on in your space. You've probably gone into clinics or other uh, facilities and didn't even realize that sound masking was going on. So that's kind of the idea. A little bit goes a long way. So once you've adjusted your media player volume and your master volume, the last thing I'm going to recommend to do is to adjust the EQ settings. The only way to adjust the EQ settings is through the remote that comes with the amplifier. Now the EQ settings are like if you're in your car and you're listening to a song and you adjust the the radio from classical to country to hip-hop to jazz even though you're listening to that same song it's going to sound a little bit differently so i'm going to go through these eq settings just so you get an idea of the differences i'm going to turn up the volume so you can turn up the media player volume from here you can't turn up the master volume from the remote but you can turn up the media player volume so i'll turn it up there and i'll turn up the master so it's really loud, you're not gonna have it this loud, but I just wanted to get the point across. So here's the EQ settings. I changed it up a little bit. That went a little softer. Now that changed quite a bit. That almost sounds like you're on an airplane a little bit. That kind of very calming, soothing uh, white noise that's going on. That was a little bit more high pitch. So you can get the idea that there's gonna be some fine tuning involved. You gotta get that uh, volume right through the media player, through the master, getting those EQ settings just right for your space. I may like one over, over uh, the other and you may say, I don't really like that one. So you can choose exactly what you want for your space. Um, so that's the beauty of this. So I'm gonna turn this off. Um, hopefully this was helpful. I do want to point out this was the white noise sound masking card that we were um, demoing today, but we do have other options. We have Babel, so it sounds like you're kind of in a crowd. We have river, we have rain, we have ocean, we have a Japanese Zen garden. So we have different options. If you want to try them out, we have people all the time try different cards and they might like one over the other. So I hope this was helpful. If you need anything else, um, have any questions about our sound masking technology or equipment um, or looking to you know, purchase a system for your space and don't know where to begin, please give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be happy to help. Uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.